Terry Beloga, Sassy Chicks Real Estate Group. April Palacios, Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation. Okay, Linda on the hot seat, question for you. Let's talk bank statements. Mm. <laughs> when you ask for bank statements to, to approve someone for um, a mortgage or whatever, um, what are you looking for? What do you, why do you need the entire thing? What, what, why do you need to know what all is on there? Uh, we want to know how many times you eat at Chick-fil-A and how much you spend on shoes. No. <laughs> no, for real. We don't care about any of that. What we're looking for mostly is how do you manage your funds in regards to do you go in overdraft? Do you bounce checks? Are there any large deposits that need to be identified? Because there are rules that we have to follow about proving the source of the money where it comes from mm -hmm. and then also looking for any reoccurring debt that may not show on the credit report that you have a monthly obligation to pay because that can affect your ability to afford the mortgage if there is additional debt that we are unaware of it's called undisclosed debt um, then there's some things that when a large deposit is on there we have to be able to properly source it because we have to make sure that the lender the real estate agent the seller or any interested party in the transaction is not giving you money to help you purchase a home because there are rules against that based on past times and some really crooked things that went down in lending in the past. So mm. we need to see a full, full statement for a two month time period. And a lot of times we can eliminate one of the months and only use one of the months. Um, I'm sure she'll have more questions for me about that. <laughs> but that's, yeah, we don't care about where you spend your money necessarily. Just if you have obligations that we need to know about, that could affect your ability to afford the home. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Any questions, just let us know. Thank you.